This is a quick walkthrough of how to use a spreadsheet to input your risk category scoring. Now, to do that, I'm going to quickly walk through the work that you've already done. So on the control tab of the spreadsheet, we have the choice of choosing what type of risk breakdown categories we're going to be using. In this case, I've chosen to use the ISO 31000 using the balanced scorecard categories. But of course, we could choose any of the other groupings uh, that we wanted to as a starting point. So now we've chosen this one. We then went to the Strategic Objectives tab in the second step and filled in all of our strategic objectives. We then moved to the Strategic Weighting tab and either used this weighting tool to calculate our weightings or some other independent way. The net is we now have our weightings sorted out. And now we're ready to move on to the Risk Categories tab. So within the Risk Category tab, what you'll see is the strategic objectives and weightings have been brought forward from the previous tabs, as has been the Risk Categories and Groupings from the earlier work. In particular, Row 4 holds the Risk Categories, in this example, from the ISO 31000 related categories. And Row 3 has the perspectives if you're using the balanced scorecard terminology or groupings if you're using the risk terminology. So in this case, we have a risk grouping of financial, and within that we have categories of budget, capacity, funding, and rates. Now today we're going to use an example, but I'm going to go to the customer perspective because it's a bit more illustrative. To make it easier, and you might want to do this when you're facilitating, is I'm just going to split the screen so I can then just scroll these financial perspectives behind, and there's customer. So first, we're going to ask ourselves the question of, what is the likelihood that we're going to have competition for our customers? And in this case, let's put in the three out of five. And again, the scoring structure is available to you if you download the spreadsheet. Now, let's take a look at what is the impact if we do have competition on our ability to uh, achieve profitable growth. And let's give that a score of 2 out of 5. What's the impact of competition on being a low-cost producer? Eh, really none. What's the impact of competition on our ability to build, build brand loyalty? Probably significant. Let's give that a 4 out of 5. Our ability, uh, the impact of competition on low price? probably will have some impact. Um, it may be nothing on quality product. It will have some sort of impact on great service, no impact on improvement or new products, but probably some impact on anticipating customer needs. Now, what you'll see is these bars keep changing length. And the reason for that is they're calculated by taking a look at the likelihood times the impact times the weighting. So in this case, we have an impact of 2 and a weighting of 5. In this example, the impact is twice as big, 4, and therefore this bar is twice as big. And here we have an impact of 1. So this one is half as big as this one, and indeed that one is half as big as that one based on the scoring that we've given it. Now here we also have a score of 2, but because the impact is 10, this one's also twice as big. So these bar lengths will continue to shift until the spreadsheet finds the highest impact on the overall spreadsheet, and then the bars will sort of stabilize after that. Again, what we're illustrating here is the relative impact of risk. And as you keep on identifying areas with bigger risk, of course, the relative risk for the other areas decreases. Let's take a second example. Let's take a look at demand. Now, if we forget to put in the likelihood from demand and we go straight into impact, for example, profitable growth. Obviously, if our demand, uh, if we have risks associated with demand and our demand cavitates, our ability to achieve profitable growth is significantly impacted. We'll give it a four out of five. But you'll see no bar appears because we have not given a likelihood score. Now, in this example, let's say the likelihood of our demand imploding during this planning period is a two out of five. When I enter that in, now the bar appears. So again, we can score this one where the risks occur. Now, what you should be noticing here is as we go through this process, risk doesn't necessarily occur everywhere for each risk category or in the same measure. 
So again, these risk categories have different impacts on each strategic objective. And based on the weighting of those objectives, the significance of that impact varies. So if this were a complete analysis, we would find that obviously there looks like there's more risk associated with competition than there is with demand. And the largest risk of all is probably around anticipating customer needs. Now in the next section, we'll go into analyzing this in more detail. But that's how you use a spreadsheet for inputting the data.